ông cứ chụp ông nhìn vào cả mặt to cái trong lá cà thì sạm lá cà hay nâng bắt đầu vịt cà chuyển từ trong bệnh viện cấp cái đây lục nôn chía là mày mình nó cả nó cả tăng thầm nô lên đầu chụp nó sạ xây rụng đi tại một lần bắt to cả tăng thầm nô ông nhìn vào sầm sùa lục từ lục vịt viện Ông đã chết chắc bởi bởi Cảm ơn các bạn Lúc này thì Ất đã bọt mũi đầy lúc bạn đọc sống trên phía Ất đã bọt nịp bốn đời nạn nịp bốn Stiêu hết đỡ Đầy lúc bạn lực dụng một số nịp đau sạc xây Khăn ông lòng phía sạm nạc ca Ở vẹn môn nịp Ta ai cơ xa nốt Mình nơi khăn ông thông nông rướng Rư nơi khăn ông bình chí ai cơ xa nà mùi Đó bọt phía kì Đại xin nào xong đã chụp bộ mục ông dùm rèm đại lý tí hay ăn bát nước miếng chấm nong chừng ấy đấy Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, the Steve Hedda article is on the uh, shared material drive. Um, the, I could have provided you with the ERN numbers, but one of your legal officers came earlier and I seem to now have misplaced it after I discussed the document with her. But um, the document is called, um, if I speak from my mind, reassessing the role of the senior leaders of democratic Kampuchea. And um, perhaps I can, um, in, I would be able to, after this um, court session, um, provide you with the exact ERNs. And uh, we have um, submitted it as part of an earlier application, um, so it should also have an E uh, document number as part of that application. But I am, um, again, would um, not be able to provide you with that at this point in time. Again, um, we um, simply referenced it because it's in the public domain and it's relevant to the current proceedings, so we don't want to rely on it in any way, shape, or form apart from impeaching this witness. I hope this uh, information suffices. ตาสนมมีในขนมสนมเรื่องสนมเรื่องก็ได้โซนโซนปีได้หรือที่ไอ้กระซานงหรือในขนมบัญชีไอ้กระซานามุ่ยในพิกีได้บานธนาสมดัก
ដល់ស្រង់ ông chỉ biết xong rồi lực sai chết mày mà nông tiết đời ông chỉ biết bàn lực cầm mấy tivi ông ta chết cao phải cái lục nôn chia nâng nhường nhọn hơi xong ông lục cầm rúp nâng anh nó vót ở bàn trầm trới chia tay bà má chấm pu cái đây này nóm anh nó vót ông pi cao sơn sông đại cái xã đánh đau nơi chỉ pu mục ông chỉ nuôi nhung ra hay ông chỉ biết xong lực một thay tháng được pi na đại lục mấy tivi trời lực ai cái xã nam muối mộc đại đánh đau sẽ xây đào mà đang rập vào rư đào mà đang rập vào ní nơi chỉ buông một ông nhầm ra lúc bây giờ vi trở tay bằng hai chỉ muốn ông pí ai cái xa nút thắt tới bất chấp bàn đã nơi chỉ buông một ông chỉ đúng nhầm ra nơi không một chi ai cái xa nào mũi rồi bọc thịt kia nào mũi rư co rồi bọc cầm cuốn hơi đến nơi thì pí bằng hai nhầm pí ở tại thành nhà ai cái xa đôi chân lấy cột lấy chồng coi ai cái xa chồng đong chưa ai cái xa lấy ỉa ấn chỉ pí rư bay phía xa tới tam thành phép nơi ai cả xa để vẽ bòn chạy sát đây hay cả ní cứ phía kia vẽ bòn ở tây tiết kia bàn anh vật trầm trồ hay là ở tràn hai phía bờ đầm đà cà sạm đà cà nó chặt thập ngày chiêng một hơi mình cua miết là phải hà ní đào đài đào đài được như thế sự khâm tha độ mệt vì nên năng prang prang khát khom anh vật đại bàn là ở nơi cà này nằm trong bọng như vậy sôm chơi với to cà tăng sôm lúa đánh đào trên bờ sạn say cho Mr. President, just asking for a clarification. Am I to understand that we are not allowed to quote from scholarly articles that are that can be found in the public domain without wanting to rely on them for any evidentiary purposes? This is again a scholarly article by uh, a well-respected scholar that has worked for the OCIJ and for the OCP. We can, I can access this document in any library uh, that uh, has this particular book, and I'm not sure why we should not be allowed to at least refer to this document in statements. I didn't show the document to the witness. I'm just conveying information that is out there in the public domain and that is relevant to this witness. If we're not even allowed to do that, it becomes a somewhat surreal exercise, and I would like some guidance on this issue. And I uh, remind you that, again, we have already referenced this document during the questioning of an earlier witness, and that proved to be no problem whatsoever. So that practice that you referenced of 70 days of following this procedure is at least not very consistent. So some guidance on this issue would uh, be appreciated. And I do think that if we are not even allowed to quote scholarly works that are available in the public domain, there's not much role left for uh, any defense team here. I, I would like some guidance. Uh, yes, Mr. President, I'd like to quickly respond to that. I find that uh, comment inappropriate given that he was allowed to use this. Uh, the point here is one of notice. Uh, it's of notifying uh, the parties in advance of the documents uh, that are intended to be used. Um, council uh, should have informed uh, the parties of the identity of the document he was using so we all could review that ahead of time. Furthermore, <coughs> while I have no problem with council making references to this analysis, I failed to see why it was necessary in questioning this witness. This witness is not a scholar on this subject. <laughs> it would have been uh, simply sufficient for him to ask the question who had authority to order arrests and executions, district level, sector level, or the center. Uh, so I fail to see how council has in any way been obstructed from conducting examination. This is simply a matter of him providing notice to the parties of the documents he intends to use. Mr. 
Mr. President, if I may briefly respond, if that's the only issue as far as the prosecution is concerned, we agree if we would be more than willing to provide adequate notice of uh, documents such as the one I used before if we are actually allowed to use them to uh, ask to, to, to ask this witness questions relating to that document. So, uh, I think there's no disagreement between the, the prosecution and us, but I understood your ruling to mean something else, and that is that in the future we will not be allowed to use documents such as this one. If that's the case, uh, I think my uh, request for guidance stands, so it's, it's in your hands. Oui, merci, Monsieur le Président. Je crois que d'abord, à titre liminaire, la Chambre tient à faire observer qu'il est extrêmement dommage d'avoir à passer autant de temps à rappeler des règles qui s'appliquent à tous ici. Euh, le fait qu'on euh, entende se servir de documents au cours des débats suppose que ce document soit produit au débat. Nous avons euh, la Chambre a pris des décisions, passé du temps pour les expliquer. Ces décisions s'appliquent à tous. La défense de Nunchia ne fait pas exception à la règle. Donc, euh, je, je crois qu'il est temps que vous réalisiez que euh, vous devez suivre les règles qui ont été indiquées par la Chambre. Maintenant qu'un document se fasse partie du domaine public, qu'il ait été écrit par un universitaire, par un chercheur, une information qui est intéressante, mais ça ne vous dispense pas, encore une fois, de suivre les règles. Nous souhaiterions, et je pense que toutes les parties ici souhaitent être informées à l'avance des documents qui sont, euh, servent de base pour l'interrogatoire des témoins. Donc, c'est un minimum. Ensuite, euh, c'est à la Chambre d'apprécier si éventuellement s'il s'agit d'un document nouveau, si ce document peut être effectivement versé au débat ou non. Euh, pour cela, il faut que nous puissions apprécier si c'est un document qui effectivement est pertinent, s'il va servir 
établir la vérité ou non. Et nous vous demandons de faire un minimum d'efforts et de préparation pour nous faciliter la tâche. Plutôt que de devoir passer des heures ou des minutes dans un cas extrêmement précieux au cours des débats à devoir traiter des problèmes qui n'ont pas lieu de se poser à l'audience. ว่าเสียงเครื่องส่งเครื่องเสียงนาทีนี้บางคนมันสังคมท่าขย่มปานยี่จะบ้าหลอหายบ้าคุณหนูสมัครให้ Jeng ko som cek bantai mana, ramlek bantai mana luk ramlek ramlek tapi dah tak. Aik kesah dah pikir tentang lain ban dak dengan kanong interface. Mereka min nai tak aik kesah nuh jum nuh awi ka anwat dari bithien pad tempel bun di. Bithien pad tempel bun tu nai tak min dalam lain je cepat dari pini tak bithi nai ka senar som dak aik kesah nai jum puh muk ang jum jum dah. Jum nai ai aik kesah dak nai interface. ตัวเมียพิกิตเดาตัวตัวเราพอจะเมียนบานมุ่นเปลือดังดาวนี้คนเราได้เจอการสมรู้พอจะเมียนดำไปเตรียมและขณะที่มุ่นบานเป็นเ
Absolutely sure. Do you remember that meeting in Phnom Penh, Mr. Sousa Room? So the meeting that took place two to three months after Lang and Kampun were killed. Thank you. When you were asked about this meeting by the co-prosecutors on um, day 71, which is last week, on page 52 of the English transcript and page 43 of the Khmer transcripts, you stated the following. The prosecution asked you, and when you got to Phnom Penh, who did you meet with there? Your answer was, we met with Pol Pot. The prosecution then asked you, do you recall meeting with other leaders in addition to Pol Pot? And your answer was, I didn't meet with any other leaders. Mr. Sao Sarun, do you today confirm the truthfulness of this statement? Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Our, our objection here is that uh, counsel is, uh, as he did before, somewhat uh, mis uh, misstating the evidence here as he is leading out, leaving out uh, from what he has read the subsequent part of the transcript where the witness's excuse me, where the witness's recollection was refreshed. Uh, by doing that, I think he is uh, misleading, uh, misstating the prior testimony, um, um, but the, the record will reflect um, that he has left out um, uh, the uh, relevant uh, uh, correction of the witness's testimony later on. Mr. President, if I may respond, the, the prosecution is um, right that I is correct that I leave out the later part where the memory of the witness has been refreshed. But I don't think that's inappropriate. To the contrary, I think that's the essence of what we have to deal with today. We are trying to establish what the witness actually remembers, what the witness remembers today, what the witness remembered last week, and what the witness remembered three years ago or four years ago when these original statements were made. So it is particularly interesting to hear what the witness has to say in response to this question simply because we cannot assume that his statements before the investigating judges was, were the correct ones. We need to test, we need to verify how he found these answers, how he came to these memories, and I think that is particularly important with this witness, because this witness has demonstrated time and again that he does not remember certain things. He has made absolutely contradictory statements in his uh, testimony over the last week that may be due to memory loss, that may be due to other reasons we don't know, but it is important to establish it for the record. What prosecution did uh, last week was the same methods. Prosecution asked time and again to have him simply confirm the truthfulness of earlier statements before the co-investigating judges. I am asking this witness to confirm the truthfulness of a statement he made last week under oath before your trial chamber. In the record, he states, I quote, I did not meet with any other leaders. I did not make that up. It's in the record. So again, I would uh, suggest that this question be allowed.
Ông chỉ mới đây mình ở lục top, cho nên sẽ đẩy top đâu phải kỳ mặt hàng tiệt tì. Sao xây mình bắt chạy tốt cho nên xâm nụ Sự trong khói đời mình tùy Các bí kỳ lục nụn chi tiết Vì phố chi xâm nụ trọng đầy I'm not sure how it was repetitive. I, I remember the OCP asking about 17 times last, over the past few weeks whether the statements he made before the co-investigating judges were truthful, even though he had stated at the beginning of his testimony that they were... <laughs> Thank you, Mr. President. I will inform the Chamber as soon as I don't have any further questions. I do have further questions, and they relate to um, some telegrams that were sent by you, Mr. Sausarun. Or I apologize. I, um, I will ask you certain questions about telegrams that have been discussed with you by the OCP. And the first telegram I would like to discuss with you is uh, document number D201-5.3. Um, English ERN is 00361189 and Khmer ERN is 00020993. And with the permission of the President, I would like to show this document on the screen and it's uh, called Telegram 46. It is a telegram that has been discussed before and it's addressed to two respected M870 and it relates to the incident with a vote that caught fire. Do you remember the telegram that we are speaking about, Mr. Sausarun? Sausarun. <coughs> In this telegram, it's written, and I quote, the measures of the sector, one, arrest the two men, and two, arrest contemptible Lian. According to the examination, there had been the assignment from Lian, and then it follows below that, carry out the arrest of these men today, the ninth. If I read this telegram, Mr. Sarun, it seems that the sector itself had already decided to arrest the two men without awaiting orders from 
the center. Is that a correct reading of the facts? Thank you. Um, I'm a some clock and I will move on to uh, the next telegram, which is telegram 54, that I would like to show on the screen with your permission, Mr. President, this is English ERM 00296220, Khmer ERM 00120027. Um, this telegram, Mr. Sarun, relates uh, to Comrade Sot. We have discussed, the prosecution has discussed this telegram with you. And the telegram reads, the issue of the situation inside the party, Comrade Sot, chairman of the repair factory, has committed immoral acts with a woman. Now the arrests have been made. Both the men, both the man and the woman have been arrested. Mr. Sarun, look, Sarun. If I read this telegram, it suggests that the lower level had the authority to arrest persons for minor. Infractions. Is that correct? But at some point, the thing that is not in the ban, the rules, the checks, all the rules, the things that are not in the I am almost finished with my part of your questioning, Mr. Sazaroon, but um, the prosecution last, last week asked you whether the DK leaders discussed or allowed the rebuilding of the destroyed pagodas in Monokiri. My question to you is, um, Mr. Surun, to your knowledge, has, has the American government ever offered to reconstruct or rebuild those pagodas that were destroyed by their bombardments? I have no further questions, Mr. President. Maybe my uh, colleague, Mr. Sonoran, has any follow-up questions? No, sir. The new defense team is ready with its questioning, but it does have a request related to this witness. So is this a good moment to formulate that request? And it's really a short request that would be appropriate to be made in this hearing because it relates directly to the memory and the sources of knowledge to, of Mr. Sarun and uh, the possible fallibility of his memory. It would be a two-minute submission.
Mr. President, uh, please, please correct me if I'm wrong, but I understand was that if it relates to the questioning of the witness, it can be done in court, and I think it's only uh, right for the public to know our concerns on the issue of the um, credibility of this witness rather than uh, uh, relegating this to written submissions. So, considering that it's directly related to this witness, am I allowed to make that two-minute submission? អង្គជំនុំនេះមិនអនុញ្ញាតឲ្យលោកធ្វើរចនាទីហើយឲ្យលោកអានឡើងវិញនៅបទបញ្ញត្តិនៃវិធានកៅសិបីស្ដីពី
Fermer les guillemets, même question à qui est adressé ce télégramme. Et enfin, pour terminer, le quatrième et dernier télégramme, D201, barre de fraction 6.1, daté du 24 avril 1978, qui est adressé, ouvrez les guillemets, à l'attention du respect des banques, fermez les guillemets, à qui est adressé ce télégramme. Donc, euh, monsieur le témoin, je peux comprendre que malgré la différence de formule de politesse introductive, euh, ces quatre télégrammes étaient tous adressés à Pol Pot. C'est bien cela. Vous avez euh, répété à plusieurs reprises euh, durant ces derniers jours que lorsque vous avez été secrétaire euh, de la région du secteur 105, vous n'avez adressé vos télégrammes qu'à Pol Pot. Et je voulais vous demander euh, qui vous avez demandé d'agir ainsi. Pouvez-vous préciser de qui vous parlez Et c'est lui qui vous l'avait demandé, c'est bien cela Et Pol Pot, vous avait-il expliqué le motif de cette décision Est-ce que Pol Pot vous avait expliqué pourquoi il souhaitait que vous n'adressiez vos télégrammes qu'à lui et à personne d'autre Je voudrais vous lire, monsieur le témoin, maintenant un, un extrait de la déclaration que vous avez faite 
aux enquêteurs des co-juges d'instruction. C'est une déclaration que vous avez faite le 17 décembre 2008 qui a été cité à de très nombreuses reprises pendant votre audition sous la cote E3, barre de fraction 367. Et ce que je voudrais vous lire, c'est la transcription de l'audio de cette déposition, c'est-à-dire l'enregistrement euh, sous forme de cassette, j'imagine, euh, de la discussion que vous avez eue avec les enquêteurs du du coprocureur. Il s'agit d'une transcription que j'ai sollicitée il y a quelques jours et que votre chambre a fait réaliser par ses services. Alors, elle porte la cote D125, barre de fraction 167. Et je voudrais vous lire un passage qui correspond à la page 5, à peu près, je pense, de la version française de votre audition du 17 décembre 2008. Question de l'enquêteur. Vous est-il arrivé de recevoir des télégrammes de la part de Kyo Sampan votre réponse. Pardon Question de l'enquêteur. Vous est-il arrivé de recevoir des télégrammes de la part de Kyo Sampan ou de Yang Sari En ce qui concerne les affaires économiques, vous est-il arrivé de recevoir des télégrammes de la part de Kyo Sampan Réponse de vous. Non, jamais. Question. Vous n'en avez reçu aucun Non. Mais je le voyais seulement quand j'allais à Phnom Penh et quand j'avais à discuter avec lui des affaires économiques. Question. Où l'avez-vous rencontré Vous ne m'en avez jamais parlé. Et quand Réponse. Au moment de la réunion. Question. Lors d'une assemblée Vous répondez. Oui, c'était à la sortie de l'assemblée. Question. Mais vous m'avez dit que la plupart du temps, c'était Nguyen Chea qui parlait lors de l'Assemblée, euh, jamais que s'en pense. Non, vous répondez, pardon. Non, lors des assemblées ou durant l'ouverture des sessions de formation, que s'en pense ne parlait jamais. Question. Donc, vous lui parliez à l'extérieur Oui. On abordait les sujets économiques. Question. Vous lui parliez à l'extérieur, par exemple, pendant un repas Réponse. C'est ça. Pendant le repas, on discutait. L'enquêteur. Bon, je vais mettre donc lors du repas. Réponse de votre part. D'accord. Question. Votre conversation avec lui se faisait-elle hors de la réunion Réponse. Oui. Quand j'avais besoin ou avait besoin, est-il écrit, de lui demander quelque chose ou lui soumettre une liste relative aux affaires économiques. Alors, J'arrête la citation, monsieur le témoin, et je voudrais vous demander à combien de reprises, si vous vous en souvenez, vous auriez eu des conversations informelles avec monsieur Kiosampan au sujet des affaires économiques. Combien de fois cela est-il arrivé Est-ce que vous êtes en mesure de le dire aujourd'hui
Et à cette occasion, avez-vous euh, remis à M. Pieux Santon une liste de, relative aux affaires économiques et à une autre occasion, quelle qu'elle soit, est-ce que vous avez remis une liste à M. Kiosampan relative aux affaires économiques donc pour être pour être parfaitement clair, euh, monsieur le témoin, cela signifie que vous vous êtes euh, trompé euh, lorsque vous avez répondu aux questions de l'enquêteur ce 17 décembre 2008. C'est bien cela que vous dites aujourd'hui Non, non, mais vous n'avez pas à me demander pardon, monsieur le témoin. Je veux juste euh, savoir, euh, lorsque vous dites que vous avez été malade, vous parlez de l'époque à laquelle vous avez répondu aux enquêteurs euh, des causes d'instruction ou d'aujourd'hui บ่าลงญีหึงถ้าชื่อนั้นก็จองญีทาชื่อเป็นลูกชลายเตอร์สะจากรามเสริมเกตก็ชื่อเราหนึ่งบาดชื่อมุ่นชื่อมุ่นอ
ដល់ជាពុះក្រុមវិទ្យាវិការពីក្រៃលោកយើងទ្រីដែលបានបង្ហាញ <coughs> Tiếng mù là khi người ta đo tìm bình chọc hơi Hay ông chẳng rẻ Thầy anh em nó cun dàng chế chơi như phố Lúc đại bàn chấm nái phê vì liên đồng miền đồng lây Hay nâng khất khom Phần phần anh thủ bầy Miền bầy chấm nái hay miền ca Thông thôi nơi sọc phía quả đói Có khơi nhạc kích phần phần Rõ ta khai cam bỏ lô quần màn thằng ngày đi Lô bà xa Hay ông chấm đây anh nhá tôi lục vừa tập lập tôi lục đời tháng được cô cô đại đại lục chọn tôi bình ban hơi ông chấm đây chụp tờ cá nông ca chơi như lục một đầu tập khay cắm tiệt hơi cách chấm đại ca sao mà ca sầm rập thằng này đi khi thà đòi đi xong là mồm đừng quên sầm rạ hơi hay ông chụp cái bạc cả sầm rạ phá cái sầm đại ca sầm rập thằng này đi trầm đi hay sầm đại ca lực tôi bận tôi thử được thằng này sai hay được thay sai này ông nhìn đây nâng bàn to sắp tới khi cam sạ xây để miền hà sơn niêm thi sĩ đại biểu buôn rồi ở bài thập bảy một trai rồi ba tờ lá cá rồi một rùa chỉ mới nâng ông cấp phép công việc sạ xây nâng đẹp như thế nông ca bình chun sạ xây sao giờ rốn từ tờ lập tờ lùm đời than đã bọc cọt vĩnh hay nâng sạ xây thi sĩ đại biểu buôn rồi bài thập bảy bảy để chia sạ xây bầm rong thay này chun tờ lập tờ cần cái này để cọt nhẫn nới hay nâng ao nòm sạ xây thi sĩ đại biểu buôn rồi bài thập bảy một cần bất tục sạm nạc cá cả lại bắt đầu sẽ khai cam đi nơi thằng này sẽ ai nơi bị liên màu bầm bùn anh nói rằng một tí không khéo nó luôn chuẩn chụp chào tầng bảy rúp từ căn một tí không khéo này ở bao tàu co ở bên châu hay đại lai lục yên dự ri sân bờ còn bằng hai nhầm hồ cho bà lo nông ca đã bị xong nơi tạm nan cái chấm nạc ca tạm nạc ca bị chấm ngay ban môn pe là ông chấm chấm rẻ môn pe mong bổn bún để ông chấm rẻ chấp đặt bậc tạm nạc ca nút từ sôm ra sát tục quật nơi cái này mình tụt nơi khung khuôn khăng cáo nằm bây giờ quật tạm nan cái chấm nạc ca tạm nạc ca bị chấm ngay tạm tập còn sát tu xem lại cho sôm cáo chờ